Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, we are gonna be doing a compression check on the Miata. So this is kind of a good way to check the health of your motor, obviously. So you can do this on any car. I'm just gonna do it on the Miata. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it on the Miata today. Um, the procedure is basically the same on every car anyways. But yeah, I picked up this little kit here from Harbor Freight. This one was $32. And I mean, well, $30, $32 tax and some other stuff. But uh, yeah, this is basically all you need. What is that? Is that a bug? All right, we got that thing off of there. But it comes with the gauge, the hose, the adapters, and just that's basically all you need for the compression test. So we're gonna go outside, we're gonna drive the Miata for a little bit. You gotta bring it to operating temperature to do the compression check. So what we're gonna do is get it to operating temperature, park it right here. We're gonna take out the fuel, uh, use so the injectors don't pump a bunch of gas in the cylinders i'll take you guys through all the steps in just a second but the reason i'm doing this is because i just want to see the health of this motor if i do end up turboing it in the future also i just want to see just curious because supposedly this is a new new ish engine a newer engine in it than the original one because the car has 220,000 miles so if that is the original engine then we're probably gonna have some problems but if it is swapped, then it should just pass the compression test and we should be good. But uh, I just want to do this just, you know, to see if I possibly need a new engine in the future or anything like that. So let's go outside. Let's drive it around a little bit or just at least start it up and just let it get to operating temperature. Then I'll get back to you guys and we'll start doing the test. All right. So we got the Miata heating up a little bit. We're just going to get it to the operating temperature, like I said. Now, this really sucks. So yesterday it rained pretty much all night and now i find out that the top leaks i guess from somewhere so this whole seat is all wet that's all wetness right there so i'm definitely gonna have to figure out how to fix this i think it's leaking up here uh probably just dripping down from right here and just boom so i really don't know it's not leaking from anywhere up here so i'm gonna have to check these seals Luckily, it doesn't rain too much where I live, but still something that needs to be fixed on this thing. But we're just going to get this thing up to operating temp, and then we're going to pull it into the garage a little bit and show you guys the next step. All right, so we got it all warmed up. So the first thing we're going to do is come over here to the fuse box over here. Take out this relay right here. This is for the fuel pump. You don't want that priming, obviously, or like I said, shooting fuel in the engine while you're doing this. And I don't know why this one says airbag on it, but this is for the uh, fuel fuel injectors as well. So we're going to take both of those out. We're going to take this one and the relay that I just took out. All right, so that does it for the fuel injectors and the fuel pump. Now we're going to take all these bad boys out and then take the spark plugs out and then we'll be ready to go. All right, so we got all the spark plugs out. Now we got our tube here. We're gonna thread this on. You know, every kit's differently, but if you guys get the same one from Harbor Freight, you'll have to do this as well. So we're gonna get this on here, tighten it down a little bit. It doesn't have to be super tight. I'm gonna start with cylinder one. Thread it down there. Don't burn yourself. Get it nice and tight. Now we're gonna get our gauge, slap it on here. Now we're gonna leave it. Now we're gonna go crank the car and see where it's at. So you wanna crank the car for about uh, eight to 10 seconds. I mean, I think you're supposed to do it for eight revolutions, but we'll just do 10 seconds for each one. Now, another important thing is you want to put your foot down completely on the throttle when you're doing this. So we're going to put our foot on here and then we're going to crank it for 10 seconds. So here we go. 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, let's go check it out. All right, so it's reading about 135, 140-ish almost. So that is pretty good, obviously. So we're going to write that down and then we are going to do it again for the next cylinder. So we're gonna release there and on to the next. All right, so as you guys can see, a little bit lower 
it's at about 130. Little little one was around like 135-ish, 140 almost. So, I mean, not too bad of a difference, but hopefully we don't keep seeing a huge decrease as we go through the cylinders. So we're gonna release the pressure and on to the next. All right, so about 130, almost 135. So pretty good so far. All right, about 140. All right, so I got the numbers written down here on a piece of paper just to show you guys, just, you know, and for my visual. But anyway, so cylinder one was 140. Cylinder two was the lowest of 132.5. It was, you know, it was right in the middle. So, and then we got 135 and 135. So this is technically acceptable for a 1.6 Miata engine. It's definitely got some miles on it, but the biggest thing you want to look at is variances between these. So there was, so there really isn't any big variances. The only big variance is between 140 and 132.5, which is 7.5. So that's really not that big of a variance though. So I'm pretty happy with this. I had no reason to really believe that I had low compression. I was just doing it just for future reference to see how healthy it is. And just, you know, for future plans for making more power with the engine or, you know, wanting to upgrade to a new motor. So yeah, overall pretty happy with that. Now it is the next day, uh, it started pouring rain the other day and I kind of just, you know, didn't finish up the video, but this is the end of it. But I'm pretty excited, I mean, not excited, but I'm not like uh, worried about anything with the engine that, you know, one of the cylinders wasn't like super, super low. There wasn't any like major issues. So overall the engine is pretty healthy and it's acceptable. The numbers according to, you know, forums online and everything. Like I said, the biggest thing you want to see is just giant variances between the cylinders because if there is a huge variance, then there's obviously something wrong with one of the cylinders. But a really super easy test, you could do it at home, just go buy the kit and it just go do it by yourself. It's really not that hard. But anyways, guys, that is basically it for this video. I know it's kind of a little bit of a random video, but I did kind of cheap out on maintenance items on my Integra. So I kind of do want to do a little bit of maintenance into the Miata. So um, that's one thing that I really need to do on that thing. And we'll continue to do maintenance throughout these videos, but I also do want to get some mods in here. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out, guys.